Obviously, you're going to do and learn some mental shit like mechanics of materials, dynamics and integrals, CAD sims and differentials, design tips and reading standards, hieroglyphs, then some extrapolation, matrix manipulation, particle simulation, leaving your computer running and hoping that the program fixes itself, but it ends in termination. MATLAB's explanation, an unknown error occurred. <laughs> But really, growing your knowledge base is in many ways the least significant change that will happen to you, and it's definitely the least permanent. I mean, who can remember half that shit? So let's talk about what the future you might be like after making it through the crucible that is engineering. Let's begin. Guys, if I asked you what traits does a student need to succeed, you'd probably say a good memory, good problem solving skills, a high stress tolerance, the ability to pick up new topics quickly, a broad knowledge base, tenacity and emotional fortitude, to which I'd have to say get out of my head. Because those are exactly right, and although you will definitely not have these things when you start engineering, whether you like it or not, you will develop them while you study. You'll begin to pick up topics more quickly, your memory will improve drastically, you'll be able to solve problems that previously you might not even have known how to start, and your perspective of life will change. And the reason it will be so profound is because all of these things are skills that for most of your life haven't really been exercised. I mean, when was the last time that you got given a problem that at first glance looked genuinely impossible, but after hours of contemplation, you had an epiphany that allowed you to solve it? When was the last time you learned an extremely complex topic to the degree that you could intuitively solve abstract problems relating to it? Um, I did physics in high school. <laughs> Cute. I guess what I'm saying is imagine how much you'll grow when you're going through these challenges almost daily for four years. And compared to most people who never push themselves like this, you'll be a goddamn Elon. And these skills aren't only useful for students, but they're also the skills that all successful people have. You know, only the educated are free, and the combination of having a broad knowledge base, a systematic and effective problem-solving technique, a determined and unrelenting mindset, and the ability to learn quickly will give you abilities that will always separate you from everyone forever. So if you go through the degree, you will absolutely become more developed. Probably more like this. And as usual, thank you so much for watching and subscribe for bi-yearly uploads. <laughs> See you around.